Welcome to the Pro Tools 8 Kit, the complete professional workflow for music production, brought to you by Focal Press and Pro Tools 101 authors Chris Basile and Rob Shimansky. In this module, Introduction and Setup, we will take a look at DAW design and deployment, as well as how to prepare Pro Tools 8 LE installation on the Apple OS X Leopard operating system. When preparing for your digital audio workstation or DAW deployment, you must first select a tool to interface between your Windows or Apple-based operating system, your hardware-based computer system, and your digital or analog recording hardware. When designing a DAW, you have many options. You can load Pro Tools 8LE on a laptop and use an MBOX2 micro to edit or mix a session. Or you can also choose to deploy a DAW powerful enough to power your professional or project studio. Now you can record live instruments, use digital plugins, outboard gear, and so much more. By using Pro Tools 8LE and the 003 rack, you can expand from the digital realm to the analog realm and then tap an endless supply of outboard gear and effects. Pro Tools 8LE is the most commonly deployed and used version of Pro Tools. It installs on Windows and Mac OS X operating systems. There are many more features on HD and it uses different hardware interfaces for external processing power. Pro Tools 8LE runs on the MBOX2 and 003 families of products as well. DigiDesign Pro Tools LE8 is now better than ever featuring many new tools, editing and mixing functionality, as well as the capability to expand to the level of HD with complete production toolkit, allowing you to work with 128 audio tracks and 7.1 surround sound options. Beyond the sleek new look comes a ton of new flexibility and stability. What if you needed a large amount of tracks and did not want to make each one individually? Templates are now available to help you get up and running quickly. You can also make your own as you need them. Next, we need to consider hardware and how many interfaces you need. Pro Tools 8 will not work without being accompanied by a DigiDesign audio interface. Within the MBOX family, you have the MBOX 2 Micro, the Mini, the MBOX 2, and the MBOX 2 Pro. The MBOX 2 Micro does not provide for an audio input. It does provide an 8 inch stereo output for headphones or speaker use and a volume wheel on the side, used for on the go mixing and editing of Pro Tools sessions. The MBOX 2 Mini offers an audio interface cable for recording so that you can use two quarter inch jacks or one XLR input for recording. It is USB based. The MBOX 2 offers two XLR inputs, one digital SPDIF, and more functionality on the front panel of the unit. It is also USB based. MBOX 2 Pro is very similar to the MBOX 2, but this device offers the use of Firewire and the use of a MIDI interface. You can also use an external word clock as well as two sets of headphones or AV between headphones and monitors. The next family of hardware offerings comes in the Digi 003 family. You can get the 003 integrated into the Command 8 or as its own module, the 003 rack. The 003 rack offers four XLR inputs with high-end AD converters, excellent preamps with front panel gain control, eight line inputs and outputs, word clock, and MIDI interface via SPDIF and ADAT light pipe connection. The optical connection is often used to expand the 003 with additional inputs. An affordable product line is the PreSonus brand, which offers many different expansion possibilities. Next, we will take a look at control surfaces, as well as headphones and monitors, cable management to make your connections, microphones to record, as well as outboard gear and instruments. When looking at a DAW, hardware selection is important. Picking correct headphones, monitors, mics, and gear make all the difference in your recording session. 
The Command 8 is DigiDesign's entry-level offering, providing for mixing and editing with a surface control that allows you to do automation. The Command 8 also comes with the 003 combined to offer a complete package in one unit. The C24, formerly known as the Control 24, is DigiDesign's mid-level offering for those who want complete control over the session while using a control surface and want to expand functionality. Enhanced flexibility and higher quality preamps are also available with this unit. The C24 offers its own set of preamps that rival those found in the 003 and offer complete control over using a keyboard. The Icon D Control and D Command Control surfaces are DigiDesign integrated consoles that provide the ultimate in control and expanded functionality, high-end circuitry and preamps, and much more. No DAW is complete without a pair of stereo headphones. All headphones give different quality playback and have many different levels of comfort associated with them. Studio monitors are essential to any professional or project studio. Near field speakers are used when listening to speakers from three to five feet away. Sit exactly between the speakers, the same measured distance from each speaker. Place the monitors at ear height. Most speakers will allow you to tune and balance them to your liking. Make sure you get familiar with your speakers, especially for mixing. Once your DAW is designed correctly, the next step is to select which cabling you will need to configure all your components. When constructing a DAW, you will work with different types of cabling used to interconnect all your devices. You should always use high quality cables when building your DAW. For ease of use, you should also deploy patch panels. Patch panels are helpful, especially when you are working with many components and in different rooms of your studio. For example, you may have to track live drums in a different room with a dozen different microphones and trigger connections. Using patch panels or a mic snake can save you time. In its simplest definition, a mic can be defined as an electronic ear. A more complex definition of a microphone is that it's a transducer, which is a device that changes energy from one form to another. That converts sound information as it exists as patterns of air pressure into an electrical signal, a varying voltage that represents information. There are different microphones you can choose from, from the most commonly used dynamic mics to a condenser or ribbon microphone. When considering effects, you could load up Pro Tools 8 LE and have almost every effect you could want contained within the box as it comes, with many, many digital effects available. You can also use an enormous array of other third-party digital plugins. By using outboard gear, you can now use even more digital and analog equipment externally from Pro Tools, giving you more power, options, and flexibility. Outboard gear is nothing more than effects processes, components, and peripherals that you bring into your recording, editing, mixing, and mastering process. A microphone preamplifier, or mic preamp for short, is a module that you can use to send a signal through and have sound affected by its circuitry. Compressor limiter modules are used to tighten your sound. An example would be, if you wanted to create a punchy drum sound, you can quickly send a submix of your kick drum through an outboard analog compressor. Using tools in this manner, expand your toolbox as an engineer. Other tools, such as noise gates for capturing live instruments, as well as reverb, delay, and other effects can be applied as needed. When recording live instruments, remember, the quality and care as well as upkeep are critical aspects to recording your work. New strings, batteries for your active pickups, and the quality of the instruments you play are all important in shaping your sound. MIDI hardware is also considered part of your overall DAW or studio, and if you record with MIDI often, you will find the use of a key station or other keyboard a permanent fixture in your environment. Pro Tools 8 LE has many new enhancements and tools to record and edit your MIDI tracks.